to receive notifications. Like and subscribe to our other social media and messaging accounts. Please don't forget to share this video. Welcome to St. Anthony of Padua Parish, Singalong, Manila. Our live streaming will begin in a few moments. Please stand by. Like and follow our Facebook page to receive notifications. Like and subscribe to our other social media and messaging accounts.
for us, the Holy Mother of God, the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our heart, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made by the message of an angel, may his passion and cross be brought to the glory of resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All together, glory, glory be, be to the to Father, the Father to, the to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, is now, and ever, ever will be, forever. forever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, today, we are celebrating the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity in our fourth day of our Novena Mass in honor of St. Anthony of Padua. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father B. Pinchon Vagela. Until the Lord Jesus returns in glory. In the mystery of the Trinity, three persons equal in majesty, undivided in splendor, yet one Lord, one God, a journey has its origin. The Holy Trinity is also a final goal. Someday our eyes will finally contemplate the face of God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, we have many intentions for this Holy Mass. We pray to the Holy Trinity that all these intentions, all these people are blessed. And we intercede to Saint Anthony that all these people may receive peace, joy, love, happiness, good health, all the intentions the Holy Trinity may bless. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give, we give you thanks, thanks for, for your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, As now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, as from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did the people ever hear? the voice of God, speaking from the midst of fire, as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation, by testings, by signs, and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arms, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today we are celebrating the most solemnity of the Holy Trinity. When we talk about Holy Trinity, it is when we were children in our catechism. From the beginning, we were told to make the sign of the cross, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, not three different persons, but one God, three in one. That is our faith given to us when we were small children. When we talk about Holy Trinity, God the Creator, Jesus Christ the Son, is the Redeemer who sacrificed his life on the cross for us and Holy Spirit sanctification who sanctified the children all of us to say Abba Father as the children of God. That is the Holy Trinity, when we reflect, we think about. When we reflect on the Holy Trinity, 
there are three or four points are very important first is there is very very much so much love between the father son and the holy spirit so we call it intimacy intimacy between the father son and holy spirit that is very important for us when we talk about holy trinity also the relationship between father son and holy spirit very inclusive relationship between father son and holy spirit that is also very important the second point also the sharing between the unity father son and holy spirit that how three persons are united that's intimacy that unity is very important for us when we today reflect of the holy trinity let us take the first aspect the love of god we keep this love in our heart and god did not keep the love only with him but he sent only his son for us so that we may experience that love as we have experienced the love of the father the son so now brothers and sisters we are to share that love with our brothers and sisters with family members with the community with the church that is very important aspect of love and today we know just few days before what happened in usa the unity is very important whether there is gap between rich and poor whether there is problem between black and white or whatever the human thinking but we have to go more ahead penetrate about the human more humanly and then we respect everybody equality and unity is very important unity in my family unity in the church and unity at large with the world that is very important factor when we are reflecting today on this topic of holy trinity holy trinity is giving us some virtues the virtues are faith hope and love these are the three virtues are given to us let us practice those virtues faith hope and love and also we are given values by the trinity self sacrifice is very important value that we always sacrifice for others as we know the holy trinity how the son was sacrificed on the cross for us likewise my time my energy and also my personal belongings i have to share and sacrifice with my brothers and sisters let us do not think about trinity but let us believe and let us celebrate let us practice in our daily life let us profess our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages 
God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Father, through the Holy Spirit, has sent Christ, His Son, to be one with us and has made Him a source of life for us. Let us raise our petitions to the Triune God as we pray, God of love, hear our prayer. God of love, hear our prayer. God of love, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, send your Spirit to the Church that He may help us in our prayer and provide us with gifts that will make us pleasing to you. We pray, God of, God of love, love, hear our prayer. Christ Jesus, send the Holy Spirit, the paraclet, to religious and political leaders, that they may be filled with strength and wisdom to serve your people. We pray, God, God of, of love, love, hear our prayer. Father, send help to the wayward, the sick, the lonely, and those who suffered in any way. We pray, God, God of love, love hear, hear our prayer. Divine Spirit, bind the members of our community together in friendship and unity, that our greetings of peace in the Eucharist may be reflected in our everyday life. We pray, God, God of love, love hear, hear our prayer. Father of all the living, bring the dead to share in your glory, the glory to of your Son and the Holy Spirit, we pray, God of, God love, of love, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concern of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, God, God of, love, of love, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your word to bring us the truth and your spirit to make us holy. Help us to worship you, one God, in three persons, by proclaiming and living our faith in you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, Father, 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service. And by it, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit. So that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim to and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and broderick our administrator and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy we pray for the soul of vanito welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's command and from by divine teaching we dare to say Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Jesus Christ and of the living God who by the will of the Father and of the Holy Spirit to the gift of life and the world. To make this your most holy word and pray for all of us. And keep us all the Spirit for your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself fully to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
Let us Let pray. pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul. As we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata against the COVID-19 virus. Please all kneel. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick, competence, and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be stored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace and time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities. Deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lawrence Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua. Insunsuhan po ang relikaryo ni San Antonio. Please be seated for some announcements. Magkakaroon po tayo ng pamamahagi ng St. Anna's Bread sa dakilang kapistahan ng ating mahal na patron, San Antonio de Padua, sa June 13, Sabado, mula alas 10 na umaga hanggang tanghali. Ito ay gagawin sa mga barangay. Wala pong pamamahagi sa loob ng simbahan. Dahil dito, kami po ay nananawagan sa lahat na nais mag-donate ng tinapay. Nadalhin ito sa simbahan sa araw ng Webes, June 11, at araw ng Biyernes, June 12, mula alas 9 ng umaga hanggang alas 5 ng hapon. Magkakaroon po tayo ng prosesyon sa kapistahan ng ating patron sa June 13, Sabado, sa ganap na ikaapat ng hapon. Ito ay motorcade. Lahat po ay nakasakay at wala pong maglalakad na sasama sa prosesyon. Ating pong pasalamatan ang mga sponsors ng ating misa ngayon. Barangay 724 sa pamumuno ni Chairwoman Adelina Galeposo. Barangay 725 sa pamumuno ni Chairman Rico Veneracion. Barangay 726 sa pamumuno ni Chairman Peri Sargado. Charismatic Community sa pamumuno ni Brother Ray Reynoso. Apostolado ng Panalangin sa pamumuno ni Sister Lina Lumbanya. Pasalamatan din po natin ang ating punong tagapagdiwang ngayon na si Reverend Father Bipin John Vaghela ang ating resident guest priest. Palakpakan po natin sila.
brothers and sisters in a very special way as we are having the fourth day of our novena mass we pray for all the people of our parish especially those who are sick bedridden and all our children may god bless all our intentions all our parishioners all our people the lord be with you and with your spirit bow down for the blessing may the effects of your sacred blessing o lord make themselves felt among your faithful to prepare with spiritual sustenance the minds of all that they may be strengthened by the power of your love to carry out works of charity through christ our lord amen and may the blessing of almighty god the father and the son and the holy spirit come down on you and remain with you forever amen go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks, thanks be, be to god, to god. Magandang gabi, salamat po.
sa ngalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. O San Antonio, pinili ka ng Diyos na ipabatid sa daigdig ang iyong kabanalan upang maakit ang marami sa paggawa ng mga kabutihan. Hilingin mo sa sanggol na si Jesus na hawak mo sa iyong bisig ang mahigpit ko ngayong pangangailangan. Samahan mo ako sa aking panalangin sapagkat ang dasal ng isang banal na kagaya mo ay dinirinig ng Diyos. Pagkalooban nawa ako ng Panginoon ng tanda ng kanyang pagmamahal, pagkalinga at paggabay. Sa tulong mo, naway ipagkaloob niya sa akin ang kaganapan ng buhay at ang pag-ibig na walang hanggan. Amen. <tinyo>